Come to GCC where the shots are painless. The second floor of the Guam Community College's Allied Health Center was filled with medical experts as students with the Medical Assisting Program partner with the Public Health Department to offer volunteer health screenings. Program Director Barbara Moffness explains. We decided that we'd like to uh, showcase the Medical Assisting Program. So during our break here, our students have volunteered to come in and do a health screening. So they're doing blood sugar, blood pressure, and body mass index. And we have public health also supporting us here We're doing immunizations. GCC's Medical Assisting Program is nationally accredited by the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. And Moffness says the program is now trying to gain local recognition as a profession by legislation. A bill in the works, and we're trying to get the program um, recognized, uh, actually not the program, the profession recognized as a, as a profession here on island. Instructor Kat Uchima also says the nice thing about the medical assisting program is that it is very hands-on, which helps many MA graduates in the long run. All of our equipment and the things we do are pretty much all hands-on, so that when the students actually do complete our program, they are ready. They are ready to work in the environment, which is a clinical setting. Normal. He adds many students end up working at local clinics or with physicians like Dr. Vince Akimoto. All it takes is a couple years of a person's time. So it's usually about two years when they get done, or maybe a little bit longer, just depending. So how well did the students do with the screening? Well, I decided to do the entire health screening process, starting with the blood pressure check and a body mass index and fat percentage readings. Everything went smoothly until my blood sugar check because I have a slight fear of needles. However, the students calm me down enough for them to take a blood sample. Oh, man. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Got we got this. Oh, oh good boy. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Ms. Munoz from Public Health also gave some tips on how to distract yourself or control the pain you feel when getting shots comparing it to turning down the volume on the radio. The things that work is if the radio is really loud at 10, you turn it down 9, 8, 7. So while you're, you're, while you're working or dealing with your pain, focus on that radio and turn the volume down so that it, it makes it a little bit more comfortable for okay. you. I chose to get two vaccinations. The first one was the seasonal flu and H1N1 vaccination, which I didn't feel. However, the second one, the tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis vaccination, or Tdap, went deep into the muscle tissue, which I felt. And below for five. Got it. That's it. Hey. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're a champion, buddy. All in all, the students and public health officials conducted a professional and orderly screening process, which is what the GCC instructors were proud of. Pretty proud of our program. Proud of GCC. Okay.